goodness, my feet are going to fall off. I tell you, I've forgotten that you weren't supposed to wear high heels in New York. You to wear running shoes. Oh, it's shopping in Congress. Did you hunt it? Oh, we could be very fancy and order up some room service for dinner. Would you like? Well, that'd be great. You having a good time, darling? Well, I hardly miss being back in Port Charles. Oh. I know you're going to miss your friends in Port Charles. And we've got some wonderful memories of that place. But it's behind us now, do you see? We've got to look ahead of us. You understand? Yes, ma'am. What? That was down on 7th. They sent a bit up here. That's right. She had a cardiac incident, but it's under control. She's doing well. Well, Sean, whether I'm supposed to meet him here. I haven't seen him around. Well, that's strange. He said he'd meet me here. Put the vial down. I meant when I said... I'll smash this on the floor and everyone in this room will die. Then we're at one hell of an impasse, aren't we? Barracks? No, we're not, pal. I'm calling the shots now. Now put not that... You shoot it out! Stay away from him! He's telling the truth. The liquid in that vial is deadly. It could kill everyone in this room. In fact, it may be potent enough to get rid of everyone in Port Charles. like to wear tomorrow when we go to the children's museum. How about that one? This one? Yeah, I like this one. I think it's lovely. I did enjoy shopping with you today. Me too. Better than anything. Do you remember when you used to live here and I couldn't live with you and Philomena and I couldn't let you or anyone else know that you were my daughter? And when we went shopping before, I used to have to pretend you were my little friend. I remember. That was a long time ago. Well, it wasn't really. It was just two years ago. It seems like a long time, though. I feel like I'm discovering New York all over again because I'm with you. And because I can tell everyone that you're my daughter now. Is this your favorite city? Yeah, I think so. Certainly the most exciting. What do you think? I like any place, as long as I'm with you, Mommy. Good. There's just one problem with New York, though. What? There's just too much to do, and there's too much to see. They've got everything here. Not everything. Really? New York doesn't have Kelly's. Oh. Well, we can find a substitute, Kelly's. In fact, we can find substitute anything else you care to think of. Maybe my godfathers could come and visit us. That'd be fun. Yeah. They're very special, aren't they? I'm sure they'll come and visit you. But you're going to make a lot of friends here in New York, you know. I will. But you're the most important person in the whole world to me, Mommy. Oh. Sean's got to show up sooner or later. You don't have to wait around or anything. No, that's all right. I have to be here for a while to monitor Greta. I've been thinking about you and Sean and me. What do we have to do to keep in contact with Robin? I don't want to lose touch with our goddaughter. No, I've been thinking about that also. I don't know what to think about it, though. I mean, is Anna's move permanent? I don't know what Anna plans to do. She put up a brave front when she left. Uh, she, uh, well, you know her. She's strength personified. I hope she calls if she needs help, that's all. Just hope she doesn't wait too long to be in touch. Well, telepathy isn't my strong suit. All I know is that I'm gonna miss her. Imagine how Duke must feel. Yeah, have you seen him since she left? I, yeah, I was talking to him earlier in the cafeteria. We started to talk about him and Anna, but then I had to leave to help with credit. <laughs> this guy's got so much pride. Just like Anna. They are more alike than either of them would care to admit. It, I, it's a shame it didn't work out for them. They are perfect for each other. Well, knowing how you feel about Anna, that's rather magnanimous. Prisco, I'm a realist. There comes a time when you really care for someone that you have to learn to face rejection, no matter how painful it is. I want Anna to be happy. I have to check on Greta. Are you going to hang in for a while? Yeah, for a while. 
I can't figure out what the hell happened to Sean. Maybe I'll call over to HCI, maybe over there. Is it something urgent? I was supposed to pick somebody up at a PCU. I didn't find him. Everyone just do as he says, please. Please. All right, come on. Duke! Don't be a hero. You keep your hands on the table. You sit down. You keep your hands on the table. And you leave them there. You too. Hands on the table. Come on. I don't want anyone to breathe. Nobody breathes. The elevator guy. I said, sit down. Who the hell are you? Shut up. Do as I say. You tell him, Donnelly. Alan. Just do as he says. What is this, a joke? No joke. It's deadly serious. What's going on? I, I think of it. Anybody, anybody gives cool. me any trouble, I smash this vial. You know the rest. You tell him. Alan. Please. Sit down. Alan. Hands on top of the table. Now! Move it! I don't know who is he. The Sean is the only one who seems to know. I'm not sure, but based on some of the things that Frisco's told me, I get the feeling he's involved with the, with the attack on Greta Engstrom. Did Frisco tell you anything specific? No, all I know is working with Sean and Frisco are working together. That's all I know, and it has something to do with espionage. Espionage? Is that the reason for Greta's tight security? I complied with Sean's request. He was acting on behalf of the WSB. Aside from that, I'm totally in the dark. I'll bet anything the man's DVX. Did you hear that? We heard. Huh? We may not get out of here. Just calm down, Amy. I'm scared. Oh, she might be hearing us. All right, now listen to me. I don't want to hurt anybody, and nobody will get hurt. As long as you just continue to cooperate. I'm not leaving here for a while. Neither is anyone else. You, go lock the door. Did you hear what I said? I heard you. You want your buddy to get a whiff of this? Why don't you stand up and move? and the windows, and put that elevator out of commission. How would you like me to do that? Use a damn chair. Move it! That's right. Give me the keys. You have the master key, don't you? Yeah, of course you do. Give it to me. It's more like it. Spirit. Shut up. How long do you think it can hold out? I'll know when I walk out of here. 
You step one foot out that door and the WSB will be waiting for you with open arms. And I'll take a couple hostages with me. Perhaps I'll even ask for a limo to escort me. You're acting like a fool. WSB and I will follow you wherever you go. You're living on borrowed time. So are you, pal. Now, if you care about these people, you'll shut up. I think you should listen to me. Shut up. You listen to me. You're WSB. You're concerned about these people. I'm DVX. I couldn't give a damn. You popped that violent suicide. Very astute. At the end of this discussion now. Put your hands on the table. How's Greta? I heard there was a code blue. We've got her stabilized. We'll keep her in ICU until her electrolytes improve. Did you locate Sean? No, I haven't. I don't understand either. You know, Greta's his top priority. It wasn't anywhere to be found over at HTI. If something came up, he would have left a message for me. Well, if it's any reassurance to you, you needn't be concerned about Greta's security. It's been working fine. No, I know she's safe with the guards. I, I'll just head over to HTI right now. It's his base of operation. He's going to show up sooner or later, right? I'll ride down with you. I left Duke in the cafeteria. I said I'd get back to him. Well, Steve is having a staff meeting down there. I'll go along, too. I can catch the end of it. Hmm. How you been, Jesse? It's been a while. Well, that means your health is good, and I'm not in trouble with the police. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> By the way, uh, I saw Felicia a little while ago with Audrey and Bobby in the cafeteria. She's probably still there. <clears throat> well, I'm on the run as usual, so... Uh... It usually makes things worse if I just pop in and out on Felicia. Good. You're all doing just fine. Cafeteria's closed. I told you the cafeteria's closed. I want you to get on the phone, have them hook you up to the PA system, make an announcement no one is to come to this cafeteria. Well? I don't take orders from anyone in this hospital. I give the orders. Rules have changed. And as far as I'm concerned, you want an announcement made, you do it. Hey! Hey! Everyone, sit down! Now get on that phone. Please do what he says. No. Oh, darling, don't try to be a hero. He won't do his dirty work. Steve, just do it. No. Steve, we cannot involve any more innocent people. You've got to warn them. Just do it. Dr. Steve Hardy, hook me up with the PA, please. How's that? I do that right? Very well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Room for hey, well, ready for lunch and dinner. Don't you give your residents a lunch hour anymore? Uh, huh? Today was pretty hectic. I'll complain to the chief of staff. Well, I will get no sympathy from my father. My mother, she'll take pity on me. By the way, uh, I talked to Audrey a little while ago, and she's going to set a date to bring the family over for dinner with me. Am I invited? Are you invited? You're the star guest. Thank you, Jesse Brewer, my biggest fan. Next to Steve and Audrey. They're so proud of you, Tom. Well, I think they're pretty terrific, too. I should make a point of telling them that one of these days. Come on, walk out with you. All right. Better get to the cafeteria. I hope you find Sean. Thank you, Buzz. Attention, please. This is Dr. Steve Hardy. 
I have an announcement to make. This is pretty for rare for Steve. Must be something serious. Until further notice, the cafeteria is closed. No one, I repeat, no one is to try to get into the cafeteria. Thank you. What's that all about? Now then, we could take a boat tour of Manhattan Island tomorrow after we've been to the museum. How about that? Got a great sight of Lady Liberty. Come here. I'll show you where the boat goes. See? Look. This is where Lady Liberty is, right? Kind of out here. And these are all the boats. And this is a ferry to Statue of Liberty. Great view of the skyline. I've never been on a cruise. Anything else you want to do on the map? Well... Um, maybe we can go somewhere you've learned about in school. United Nations, something like that. You've learned about that, haven't you? I could send my teacher a postcard from there. Yeah. I'll make a list of all the places we want to go to, all right? The Statue of Liberty. All right. What's that? Somewhere else? What is it? Central Park Zoo. Mommy, don't be upset. It's all right. You didn't have to hide that from me. I didn't want you to be sad about all those times I went to the zoo with Uncle Tim. Oh, you're so sweet. It's all right. We had fun, didn't we? Yeah, we had fun. But that's all over with now. Duke made us so happy. How am I going to make you understand? In a way, I don't think I've been very fair with you. I did promise you one time that I would never keep any secrets from you. And I haven't really told you about the problems I had with Duke. Doesn't Duke love you anymore? Yes, he loves us. I, I loved him. But when you get married, you've got to be honest with each other. And for many reasons, Duke just couldn't be honest with me. I couldn't trust him, so I couldn't marry him. Did Duke always lie to you? It's not so much that he lied to me. He just kept things from me, and that's dishonest. Do you understand? I think so. You know, I mean, he kept things from me that were very important. They were important to both of us. I do that sometimes, too. You do? I made you think I like being here. It's not true. It's not the same thing, really. You were just trying to protect my feelings. But I think we're going to start from scratch. We're going to build a new life for each other. New was just the beginning. All right. Jesse and Felicia were supposed to be in the cafeteria with Audrey and Bob. I know, Duke was bringing it to me. I know my father. That tone in his voice was pure hearty anger and frustration. Something's going on. Let's find out. No, no, no. Not just yet. Why not? Just, just listen, just in case. It's quiet in there. Let's try for ourselves then, huh? I don't want that. Open the doors. This is Detective Frisco Jones, Port Charles Police. It's Priscilla. You get in here. Open the doors. We'll know the vial if he comes in here. Frisco, go away! Shut up! Open up, now! This is the police, open the door! Tell them to leave. Now! Frisco, this is Steve Hardy. You must keep away from here. I'm not leaving until I find out what's going on now. Open the door! Frisco, you, you must Stop leave! Me. Come here! Open the door! Come here! You tell that cop to leave. Anybody sticks their nose in here, I'm busting this Frisco, door. it's John! Frisco, it's John! Get away from the door. Don't try and get into the room. Barrett's in here with a vial of MOX-36. Stand back. Oh, yeah, who's Barrett? What's MOX-36? Frisco, what's going on? Man, I'm thinking. What are we going to do? Just stand here and do nothing? According to Frisco, he has God knows why. Frisco, I have a feeling he 
you know more than you're telling us. Not a hell of a lot, but I'm going in there. Stay back. back. It's the stupidest thing you can do. Now, that's a powder keg in there. Just stay cool. I'm going to need your help on this. All right, all right. I'll listen to the cops now. Let's go. I'll explain later. Let's go. Sit down. I think your cop friend got smart left. Donnelly, I want to talk to you. About what? You know what about it. Alan, don't! Fire! Alan, the fire! Go! Don't even try it! Don't think about it. We won't. Everyone relax. Relax. Just relax. All right, Duke. Easy. That was really stupid. Back into your seats. They need some help. That's their problem. Sit down. Now. You two, sit down. Come on. Everybody, hands on the table. Now, Donnelly, let's deal. The clock is ticking. I'm running out of time. It's obvious you got the cops outside, and they're up to something. And that's your problem, isn't it? Uh-uh. Nobody's getting out of here alive. It's up to you. Get to the point, shall we? I'll let you all out on one condition. That I get Greta's editor research file from you. It's a pretty big assumption that I even have that file. You have it. I know you have it. And I know where you stole it from. You seem to have all the answers. You're stalling. Just keep it up. Just keep it up, Donnelly. You're playing with their lives. You're making them very angry. You just think about it. I'm giving you one minute. That's it. Everybody, synchronize your watches. For God's sake, get the man what he wants. There's got to be another way out of this. Certainly not in this lifetime, there isn't. Look, I am not playing poker with our lives, but I'm certainly not going to give in to him this easily. What the hell are you going to do? What are the options? This time is running out. Look, Barrett wants to save his own skin, too, and I'm his only chance. <laughs> Meaning what? Meaning I can string him along. How? Give him some false information. Look, I'm certainly not going to leave him right to Greta's file. Oh, yeah, great, great. Then when he finds out you've been lying, then what? What's okay, going okay, so he'll slap me around a little bit and try to force me to tell him. And then what have you achieved? I have achieved buying us some time because I know Fritz is out there trying to get to us. Oh, yeah, well, this is a pretty big assumption. I mean, God knows when you lie, when this man finds out you've lied to him, he's going to blow his dope and he'll carry out his throat. I'll drop that bloody stuff all over the place. It is worth the chance because the DBX succeeds in getting Greta, killing her, getting the antidote formula. We have no defense against MOX-36 and you may as well kiss the world goodbye. Oh, too bad all our good friends in this room don't get to vote. Time's up. Did you make your decision? I guess I have no alternative. That's right. All right, Barrett, it's yours. Where's the file? It's in my safe at home. Give me the combination to the safe, also your home address. As soon as I get my contact to get the file, and assuming this is the right combination. It is. Good, then this won't take long. My contact is waiting for a call. Now let's hope we can trust him. 
why not? He got what he wanted. I'm not too happy about that. Yes, that's Roger. That's about time. I've taken hostages at the hospital cafeteria. I got the combination to Sean Donnelly's private safe, and he says Gwyneth's file is there. All right, well, we'll see about that. Give me the numbers. All right, here's the combination. I can't take this anymore. You better take it, Amy. You want to get out of here alive, you better take it. Call me as soon as you verify the file and it checks out. Stay in your seats, everybody, and pray that Sean Donnelly's telling the truth. Guardian Greta, we don't know if Barrett's working alone. And do not leave your post. Right. I don't even know if anyone's been injured. Now, my father had a minor heart problem a few years back. This kind of trauma could... What do you know about this Barrett? He's a trained DVX agent. Kill him. Well, he'll do what he has to do. All right, what's this, uh, MOX 36? It's a germ warfare formula. Frisco, here are the blueprints of the cafeteria you're wanting. Thank you. Good, good. Let's check entrances and exits into the cafeteria. All right. Looks like we got three sets of doors and windows, one elevator. Obviously, Barris must have all those sealed off, but we have to check them anyway. He's got them sealed off. What can we do? To find some way in there that he's unaware of. That has to be some sort of vent or something like that leading in there that he doesn't know about. Hmm? If it is, I don't see it. I ain't nothing. Oh, damn it. Contacted the police? Yeah, they're on their way. There's also a specialty team that handles chemical problems like this, but they're out on emergency. So what do we do? Well, first thing we do is make sure we don't make things worse for the hostages already. Right. The doctor's oath first do no harm. You know, you read about hostage situations all the time. You never imagine what happened to you or your family. Or friends that are like family. You know, if this guy lays one hand on my wife. Let's get started. Frisco, the hostage list. Thanks. Felicia's in there. Steve and Audrey Hardy, Sean Donnelly, Duke Lavery, Amy Vining, Alan Quatermain, Bobby Meyer, and a guy named Walt Benson. He's a good friend of mine. Jesse, contact Monica. Let her know what's going on. Does this Walt guy have any family in town? My sister, I don't know her. Jesse, would you try to get a hold of her? Let her know what's going on, but tell her not to be alarmed, all right? And definitely do not come down here. Uh, you know, Amy has no family here either. Well, there's no reason to alert Jenny and, and Rick in Manhattan. Thanks. Buzz, we need a tap on the phone in the cafeteria. Is there any way we can manage that? It'll take time. It's a complicated phone system. Yeah. This is where a trained WSB agent come in handy. Uh, you know, My I, training doesn't cover this. I wish I could do something, Frisco. Got to get into the cafeteria. The doors are locked. But that's the only way in. Here. What about a key for maintenance? Well, that's dangerous. Barrett would be on the alert for a move like that. I know. What I need is a diversion. Something or someone to keep him preoccupied or distracted. Like a mutiny in the cafeteria? You're the shrink, Tom. How do you handle somebody like this? Plus, buy us some time. Dr. Fleming, How much time would you need? Dr. Lee Fleming, Enough time to get a key from maintenance and get back to the cafeteria door? Yeah, we'll have to keep him off guard, keep his mind off that door. Damn, if I was in there with everyone else, I could, I could talk my way through it with Barrett. Hmm? Hmm? I thought I still could. By remote. The PA in the cafeteria works. I could, I could keep Barrett distracted while you work on the door. Fine. Will you need any help? No, no, no. I was trained for a similar situation at Bellevue, keeping suicides busy talking while the police worked up a rescue operation. All right. It's our only shot. Okay. Walter, all right. They look pretty shook up. I don't 
blame them. They could have been killed. They took a terrible chance. No more attempts to be heroic. I promise. Nobody would live to tell the tale if I tried. Hey, we are going to get out of here. Look on the bright side. For once Amy's in the center of the action, she can give everybody a full report. God, Frisco didn't try to be a hero and break in here. And you. I admire your shouting power. Oh, it was a love shout, believe me. I've been so upset, Frisco, lately with all his WSB assignments. I just... I just want him, that's all. I'm sorry it had to be under these circumstances. <laughs> Come on, don't you start feeling guilty or I will too. Just been thinking about all these things that I should have said to Jake and that I didn't. I sure have made life miserable for him lately, getting so angry about Lucy's tactics. It's so ironic. I mean, here we are, a family again. Tom back home with us. And now this. We'll pull through this, already. I fully intend to have breakfast with you in the morning, and I don't mean here in the cafeteria. Thanks for that shot of optimism. We, we should invite Tom over for dinner this weekend. Well, if, if he isn't going to New York. <laughs> New York. The raid he's going, they're going to dedicate a seat to him on the Red Eye Special. I, I think he goes to New York to see a girl. Could be. She must be someone pretty special. Like his mother. Mr. Barron. Mr. Barron. That's this Tom. This is Dr. Tom Martin. I'd like to help you. Mr. Barron, I know that innocent people are being held in the cafeteria. I wish I could talk to you face to face, Mr. Barron. Because I'm sure you must be having second thoughts. In case you think there's no turning back for you, that that's not true. So it's jammed. This is the moment to stop and something. reconsider your okay, actions. Yes. Cut your losses. Think ahead to the consequences of what you're doing. Try to pick it. Say what's on your mind, Mr. Barrett. I, I want to hear your side of it. You, you've heard mine. I'm not a mind reader. I've got a pretty good idea of what you're going to right now. Okay, then. The early movie starts in half an hour. That means that we'd have to wait dinner. I'd rather have dinner now. You want to skip the movie? Yes. Okay, I agree. What do you want to eat? You can have anything you like. I feel like a real New York hot dog. A New York hot dog? Get those on any street corner. I don't mind eating on the street. You want to eat on the street? I'd rather sit down to have my hot dog. Listen, I'm going to have a bath. Um, have a look at some television. I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, I'll be long. Can you help me call Fort Charles? My room number? It's 903. Yes. The number in Port Charles? It, it's 555-8416. Grandma? Of course it's me. Can you bring me a hanger, please, to put my clothes on? Hold on a second. Here you go, Mommy. Thank you, darling. Oh, 
Mommy and I went shopping today. We're having hot dogs tonight. I can't help it. I miss Port Charles so much. I'll never like living in New York. I wish Mommy and I could be home with you. And Duke was my new father. Darling, sweetheart. Oh, darling. Hello? Yeah, no, she's fine. I, I'm i taking care... I'll call you later. Sweetheart. I'm sorry. It's all right. You don't have to apologize for anything, darling. You just were trying very hard. I'm not really good at it. You're wonderful. It's not been a very good few weeks for you, has it? Tell you the truth, it's been a lot for me, too. Put your own life in jeopardy. Lives of your hostages. You get hard to keep talking. I've always got this. Once I get in the cafeteria, I don't want anybody coming in there until you hear me yell at me. Good luck. I can guarantee you, Mr. Barrett, you won't be hurt if you give yourself up. I repeat, you will not be hurt. I'm even prepared to give you a guarantee. I will talk with the law enforcement authorities and arrange to walk out of this building. It's wonderful. I wonder how much longer you can keep it up. Knowing time for as long as it takes. Obviously, straight about his time to effect a rescue. God, for his training at Bellevue Hospital. Yeah. I'll be for by the your first side. time since it started, I think we have a chance. I guess you're asking yourself that. That's great for me. This guy, Tom Hardy. What are you looking so smug about? Why should you trust a man you never laid Is there a way to turn this PA system off? No, no not from here. I think you're lying. So be it. You just have to take my word for it. I'm used to dealing with people in line. Desperate people. People who've started something they feel helpless to stop. Sometimes those people were suicidal. Yeah, it's getting a little too agitated. No, I agree. Doesn't Luke Lockie be able to date much more? Yes, we have no choice. Time's not going to let up until Frisco's ready to make us move. But they did it. You have no idea what Frisco's going to do? No, I don't. Will to survive. All I'm doing is watching for a chance to overpower Barrett and get that vial away from him without anyone getting hurt. As a matter of fact, Mr. Barrett, I'm not me. Of course I will. What about Frisco? I know he's only using Thomas. Because I don't version. think you want to die. So he'll probably break through those doors. I know you're so highly dangerous. No, no, it'll be fine for us. People. Frisco will help me drop this car. Long you long and I move. You take care of Barrett. I'll be responsible for the fire. Even if you have to die. I don't envy your job. Maybe not All those lives in your hands. Someday, down the line. Yes. Donnie was telling the truth. You found the file. Yes. Who's, whose voice is that? In you, this madness. One of the doctors on the PA, I don't know. I'm getting a sermon. Suicide. It's nonstop. Look, give me the bottom line. Is, is the formula genuine? Absolutely. Everything's breaking out. Right? Your job isn't over. Now is the time to eliminate Greta Ingstrom and Sean Donnelly and make your escape. Yes. The longer this goes on, the less in control you are. Take control, Mr. Barrett. Control of your own life. And pick up the phone. I gather that was your contact. Argue with was. me. That's what you feel like. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm sure you verified my read information. You all wrong. That's what you want to for a cause. It's I thought we had a deal, Barrett. I know. Is that it? The time for that car. You and I are going to go visit okay, this red dummy right now. I could go along with that. Who am I to tell a person what to believe in? I don't understand. What's that, love? Why did everything have to change? Well, that's what life's all about, changes. I mean, if it wasn't, then you'd always be a little girl and you wouldn't grow up and do things that you want to do. Well, that's not what I meant. What are you thinking about? Well, when you love someone, well, didn't you say that love never changes? Yes, I did. But I know it changes. Well, no, not if it's not if it's true love. Don't you love my daddy anymore? Oh, darling, it's so complicated. Um, all that's important, and all you've got to remember, is that your daddy and I love you very, very much, and that will never change. 
Duke loves me, too. Yes. Well, if you don't love my daddy, and you don't love Uncle Duke, then I don't have a father. Oh, dear. I'm very sorry I've made you miserable. I don't know what to do to make it right. Maybe this trip here was a big mistake. I tried very hard. I know you did. And I could never, ever be angry at you for telling me how you feel. And that you ever be afraid to tell me things. If I did, I'd be like Uncle Duke. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that, but you're right. How much longer do we have to stay in New York? You've had enough of this, haven't you? I like to see the sights. But you want to go back to Port Charles? Yes. All right, then. We will. Really? Yes. I'll call Philomena now. Oh, there it is. What? The gleam in your eye. I missed it. It makes me feel good. I will pack my suitcase. Okay. I'll call Philomena and get her to come out here, and, uh, well, then... She can take you to see some of her friends in Little Italy. Then you and her can go back to Port Charles. Well, what about you? I've got some business I want to take care of. And I'll be back there in a day or two, all right? Promise? Pinky promise. I love you. Oh. <laughs> oh. The real martyrs throughout history didn't kill other it's people. It's time down, Ross. This needle is covered with residue of MOX 36. Anyone makes a move, I kill them. Back up. They just happen to be in the wrong place.